Hey everybody, Keith Strasberg here at Eight Flags Home Loans. This is our second installment of Discovering Amelia Island with Carrie Ann Kirkpatrick. And Carrie Ann, where are we today and who's that handsome gentleman behind you? Who is this guy behind me? <laughs> this is Pirate Pete and we are at the Palace Saloon today and this is arguably one of the coolest places in Fernandina Beach. Definitely. Um, some of the history here is just amazing and we're going to talk about it a little bit. Yes. So the Palace is the oldest bar in Florida. That is, that's old. Yes, that that's will be old. old. Older than me. Yeah, more than you and more, even <laughs> added together, <laughs> even added together. So the bar is 121 years old and that's, that is really old and impressive that yes. it has been open that long. But some of the other history here, I was actually really surprised to hear some of the other things that were, you know, about the building. So it was built in 1893. I want to make sure I got the 1878, 1878. Wow. And it started out as a men's shoe store. <laughs> a men's Would have never shoe thought that. store. Yes. And then it was purchased in 1903. And um, it actually wasn't called the Palace Saloon back then. It was actually called the, hold on, Ship Captain's Bar. Oh, okay. Ship yes. Captain's Bar. Okay. Ship I Captain's like it. Bar. And of course, obviously, they were trying to cater to ship captains and um, very affluent people in the area. So it was really, and even if you look, and maybe we'll pan around here in a minute, the details in this bar, this is not just your average no. stop in. This place has really got some beautiful Very details, nice. Nice character Beautiful here. details. Very much so, so none of that was... Um, an accident. They were really trying to make sure they were getting this type of people in. Of course, nice. later on, it was turned into the Palace Saloon, and it's got some really fun stuff. So the Palace Saloon has got some history to it also. A ghost bartender. Yes, I was going to ask you, Carrie, <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about our ghost friend that yes. supposedly is ghost bartender. Walking we actually talked about that a little bit this morning That's before good. we got started. And this is um, a bartender from times past, obviously. He must have really liked his job. He did. Because he's still hanging out here. <laughs> he's still making himself known. And some of those ways are cups falling, we yes. heard today. Um, things rolling on the floor. Knocks and bumps <laughs> <laughs> throughout Ooh. the day. Um, I personally have not met him. No, and me neither. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't, but that's just a really cool story yeah. and a good reason to stop in, if, if not for any other reason, is to maybe get a glimpse of, yes. get a glimpse of this Have guy. some of their delicious Pirate's Punch, Pirate's which punch. is dynamite. You get a little souvenir cup with it. Yes. And who knows, you have two or three of those, you might be you seeing might some ghosts. You might start seeing more than just <laughs> the, the ghost bartender. You might just start seeing more. Oh, that's funny. So a couple other things. Okay, here was another one. And this is, this is just for me. This is also my husband's bachelor party location nice, nice. so this is clearly got some history in here for me too <laughs> he hasn't told me all the stories and we're just going to say what's what happened in the palace saloon stay, stay in, in the palace, the palace saloon. Saloon. smart it's, that's we're smart. not going to go there that, that's at smart all. move um there was a fire here in 1999 oh wow yeah Didn't big fire that. and it about took the whole thing out and they have done painstakingly trying to get this thing put back to nice. the way it was before oh, the fire awesome. and they have done an amazing job. If you look at before and after pictures, they really, really made sure that, that they were awesome. getting all the details. Well, one correct. of the things I really like Carrie Ann is and I think a couple of years ago, they built a really nice stage outside. Yes, they did. So you can, uh, you can really get some really great music. We have wonderful musicians on the island, yes, a lot of great sure bands. Do. And they got a beautiful stage out there, great little area. Called the Shipyard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Called the Shipyard. Call the shipyard. Great place to listen to some live music. They usually have food truck out there. Yeah. So it's just such a wonderful experience yes. uh, uh, with some of the, the new stuff. And then you come into here inside, it's like you see the old right, stuff. Right, the old stuff. So you, can, you have the both, best of both worlds, exactly. really. And there's usually live music in both yes, places. Yes. And this place is kicking it all the way to past midnight. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm usually midnight. asleep, Carrie Ann, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I'm not usually <laughs> out that, but I know this place is one of the places that really kick it yes. a long time into the evening. So if you come to Fernandina Beach and you're looking for that kind of an experience. The nightlife. The nightlife. Palace Saloon is one of those places you absolutely have to come see. It is a favorite of locals and tourists. Located right here in historic downtown Fernandina Beach, about what would you say, a block up from the marina? Yeah, yeah, about, about a, block. a block. So it's it's some place you want to see. Um, we got the punch, which is their signature drink. Yes, right? very yummy. 
Pirate Pete. He's yes. Here. He's here every night. He is. <laughs> and, night. and one of the things I would recommend, if you're listening to this video and you're in New Jersey or you're in Connecticut or you're in California, Wherever. you're coming down, um, you've got to come here and get your picture taken with yes. him. He, he always sits outside. He He's does. inside now because they're closed right now. Right. But he'll sit outside. It's a little and early go, for Pirate's Punch. A little, little early for that. <laughs> but seriously, before you come in or before you leave, you know, get a picture with him. Um, it's it's just part of the charm of this island. Right. Uh, Carrie Ann, is there anything else we need to know about the Palace Saloon? You know what? I'm looking at my notes, and I think we have covered everything there is to cover about the history. Yes. We don't want, we're not going to tell you anything else because the bottom line is we want you to come down here come. and we want you to walk in here and enjoy it yes. and you will fall in love with this place. Then when you do, you'll call Carrie Ann and say, hey, <laughs> find me a house. That's I right. want to move here. And then I'm going to call Keith and say, hey, we need to get this person alone there we so go. they can get down here because they need to be at the Palace Saloon every single weekend, oh. having a good time, either inside or outside with live music, Definitely. And just hanging out and soaking in everything we have here in Florida. That is awesome. Carrie Ann. Thank you again, Keith Strasberg, Eight Flags Home Loans. Carrie Ann, it's been a pleasure. We'll yes. see you next month. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.